Sony has plans for Spider-Man, but these plans are slowly seeing um, what I can only describe as delays, reshuffles, question marks, and scrapped ideas. As we recently learned, Madam Web got delayed by like four and a half months. Uh, they shifted one of their release dates from next year all the way to 2024. We're still hearing that maybe Spider-Verse Part 2, or not Part 2, uh, Beyond the Spider-Verse, whatever the hell the third one's called. I think it's Beyond the Spider-Verse. That's going to see a delay yeah. as well. Um, Morbius sequel is a no-go quite clearly. Craven apparently has been met with uh, so much criticism that they're mm. looking back at potential reshoots to restructure it. it. We can all just admit Sony's falling apart right now with Spider-Man, right? Yeah. They were never part. together, so... <laughs> it's, part. it's part of what's been going on for the past couple years, especially with the animation side, where they're having trouble getting stuff um, done on time, where uh, you know, across the Spider-Verse, or uh, Part 1 and Part 2, where I think it was earlier earlier this year, earlier, uh, late last year, they had to put out a uh, an update saying that they needed more anim animators because they probably weren't going to finish in time. And it wasn't until earlier this year at a films festival that they gave a, like a one hour sneak peek look at, you know, an, un well, an hour of unfinished product to mm -hmm. see the progress of how it's been going. And for the most part, it's been pretty good, but for the other stuff, it's just, it's just how it's been going on with the film no. industry, especially with, you know, the special effects crews wanting to go on a strike because of all the bad, uh, uh, you know, work that they had to been been doing for minimal pay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I do want to bring this up because I saw somebody bring it up in regards to Spider Verse sequels, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see what happens. But somebody said, are they maybe taking too long to get this out where you could have some of the Lego Movie effect? And I'm like. The, the thing with the Lego movie was, though, you had all these other Lego movies shoved in between you, like Ninjago and stuff, that kind of diluted that brand. Uh, I think Spider-Verse will still be big, but I think there might be a little bit of the factor of some people are going to look at it being like, oh, wow, a sequel, huh? Like five years later, it's it has taken a, quite a bit of time. That's unfortunate. So I don't know. I think that something like... I mean, Spider-Man as a property, as an IP, is always going to put asses in seats. Uh -huh. So there's that. The kids are going to want to see it because it's Spider-Man and a very, very easy on the eyes cartoon. And adults are going to see it because we've been waiting for so long. I, I, I wouldn't be too worried about it. I, I sincerely, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much on that. You know, like it's not like the, it's not like kids are going to be like hyper aware of you know flops like morbius or inevitably craven or madam web mm -hmm. you know where I, I i i'm not too worried about about the gap you know worst case scenario you have some people who in the five years between into the spider-verse and across the spider-verse uh grew up a little bit and now can appreciate into the spider-verse on a deeper level and want to go back and see across uh-huh and let's not forget the uh, Into the Spider Verse barely made enough money to get the sequel in, in the first place because you're people, very right. You're uh, very yeah, right. Yeah, I, I honestly, I think it has everything to do with its second life it had on stream. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it has yeah. everything to do with that. Yeah, because uh, people thought it was gonna be a flop until uh, word of mouth got around saying it was amazingly good, and then that's when people said, "Oh, yeah, you're right." You know, and, that, and I was like, "Oh, wow! Now, now people think it's good." Okay. And once people figure out that all the marketing money went to that pixels or whatever, and not in fact Spider Verse, because Sony didn't think anybody would want that film. Oh, well, Unsurprised. That's Sony for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but hey, you know how they want to do marketing, where uh, they want to go full in on the meme and think everyone was serious about Morbius. Yeah. I mean, they've clearly paid Hot Toys to make a Morbius figure because they won't be able to make the other one. Let's be honest. <laughs> you, you realize that that toy is going to sell so little that it's going to be a like collector's item years from now, where it's like you're paying oh, yeah. eight times it, the price. In, a, in about five years, it's going to be like eight hundred to a thousand dollars. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So we we didn't print enough, so there you go. No one was being serious. 
Well, yeah, I'm, I'm like really confused at what they're trying to do here with their not Spider-Man, Spider-Man universe. And then like there was like talk of them trying to put in a different version of Spider-Man in that universe to uh, get fans in seats because they can only um, tease fans so much of saying maybe Spider-Man's maybe in this one. Maybe not. You're going to have to watch the movie to find out. And I was like, I yeah. Mean, it worked no. twice for them. <laughs> 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 It only works twice. The third time, people are not going to show. Hopefully, no, people will because <laughs> the general audience is stupid. No, let's be let's be real here. Mm, yep. yep. Oh, yeah. This um, they don't even know what they're doing. So how the hell should I know? Is my thing. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're gonna. They're going about. They're gonna do their thing. They're gonna make whatever and. I'm going to try and avoid everything because <laughs> I don't want to waste my time. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird because like you you think that they would get the hint, but they always put these releases in January. Like they'll push it back just so it can be in January. So it doesn't yeah, that's the agenda hit. against me specifically. <laughs> like, Fuck this guy. Uh. Oh, it's, yeah. Um, look, like. Sony's plans are flimsy at best because they clearly don't have a set goal. Like, there's not... They're not actually building up to anything besides maybe Sinister Six, but even that's questionable at best. So, like, what do you... What are you gonna yeah, because you're not going to have Keaton in their hmm. universe anymore. That guy's done. There's no chance. Yeah. Like, would he come back in the MCU one? I'd imagine so. The Sony one? Nah. No way. Hmm. Then what else do you do? Oh, Apart get... from no, because we all know they're going to go from no. Oh, There's no man. chance. <laughs> oh, no. God, it's going to be so funny. It's going to be so funny. Whatever the hell they do with Null, it's going to be marvelously <laughs> stupid. Oh, it's going to be... Yeah. Hmm. But these... I was going to say, Venom 3 it sounds like it's probably the last one. Yeah. And... Yeah, that's going to be a trilogy, all right. And I, I don't know. Um, A part of me just hopes that they can maybe find their footing. But every time I say that, I'm proven wrong. So I'm not even going to say that anymore because they clearly can't. So if they find their footing, they realize they don't need actually Disney anymore. And then we lose this entire arrangement. Now, I'd yeah. rather have the trash and the good at the same time. And then as opposed to having Sony with everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's whatever. They get to lose money. I get the good spot in that movie. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm the winner here. That's how everybody looks at it, I guess. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens next. Um, Sony's bound to screw up something really soon that we're going to have to talk about because that's their pattern. So, we'll talk about it soon.